Okay, Cameron, we have a lot to talk about today. Okay. First of all, we're at the AARP, the magazine, honoring Jeff Bridges. And um, Bo Bridges was talking about agelessness. Is there wisdom that you think comes with age? I mean, there's wisdom that comes with experience. And I don't think it necessarily is an age thing. You can live a full life but never experience enough to have the wisdom. You know, you need to always be going out and trying to learn and experience new things, and then you gain the knowledge. And I think Jeff is one of those people who has a ton of experience and a ton of wisdom due to that. Well, speaking of experience, you've grown up on screen. You've had a lot of life experience. What's been the biggest change for you from the beginning of Shameless till now? Oh, wow. Um, I don't know. I don't know when you when you're the person, you're able to see how you change. I think everybody else can see it. And I can see it in all the other kids and all of that. I'd be curious to ask my castmates how, how I've changed. I don't know. I think I've, I don't know. Hopefully in good ways. Do you see yourself gravitating towards different types of roles? Uh, yes. Well, yes. I mean, I've always been interested in emotionally complex roles and characters that change and uh, specific, uh, I mean, not in specific arcs, in any arc as long as they're going from one place to another. Uh, and that's something that's always interested me, but I guess I've been able to pinpoint that's what's interested me now. I, I now have more of an awareness of what interests me. You have some really risque scenes. Yeah, sure. Do your, how do you film them? Are your parents like, whoa, Cameron? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I try not to let my mom watch the show. <laughs> That's probably safe. Yeah, no, she 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 likes it. She she is fully supportive, and uh, you know they have a purpose. The, all, all all the wild stuff has a purpose. It's to tell a story and to show a character. Okay, we're gonna have. I promise you, we we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna play a rapid fire game. I need you to come a little closer to me. I'm not gonna bite. Sure, I might. Oh. <laughs> okay, ready? On yeah. three. First thing that comes to your mind. Okay. Hidden talent. Dancing. Go to dance move. The robot. Can we do it? I saw you in a dance class. Yeah, all right. We gotta we gotta break it down a little bit. Break it. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna have to teach me that. That was pretty good. <laughs> um, okay, if you could switch places with someone for a day, who would it be? Um, uh, a, a musician, a rock star. First concert you ever attended. Oh, wow. Uh, Mystery Jets, the Troubadour. First CD you ever owned. Smash Mouth. Something you're proud of that's not on your resume. Uh, um, I don't know. Uh, my. Hey, this is a rapid fire game. What am I doing? Okay, how about um, last thing you ate? The peanut butter and jelly. I don't think that's true, but I'm gonna say it. <laughs> last time you cried. Uh, the, the scene I did. Yesterday. For what? For shameless. The last time you got the chills. Uh, I don't know. It's so hot right now. It's summer. Uh, <laughs> but you know what I mean, like those yeah, the goosebumps. I know what I mean. I know what you mean. Uh, I was actually watching uh, Cutter's Way, which Jeff is in, uh, just a couple of days ago, and I got chills then. And I'm a Chicago girl, born and raised. Shameless takes place in Chicago. I know you do a little bit of filming there. What's your favorite thing about the city? Food. Oh, yeah. I, I eat so much when I'm there. Just all the Italian food and sausage and pasta and cakes this big. It's amazing. Okay, and I want you to, last thing, so you're off the hook, give me a shameless, fit, like an, an on-set story that no one really knows about. Oh, boy. Um, what can I tell you? Uh, Is there something funny that's happened this season? Well, we've only been shooting back for uh, just a couple weeks now, but... Um, uh, I had to curse out a large group of extras in a scene uh, very recently, and I don't think that they were told what the scene was going to be before it happened. And so I ran up to them and I started screaming and swearing at them. And uh, yeah, I think they were a little shocked in rehearsal. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. That's where that probably never gets old. That's funny. That, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Okay, let's robot out of this. so much better than me. <laughs>